In this video, we're going to be looking at some more exotic forms of hardline tubing, namely chromed brass and carbon fibre. You can also use borosilicate glass, but we're going to be covering that in another video. These tubes will generally come with pre-bent sections so that you don't have to bend them at home. This is because it's either incredibly difficult and requires special tooling, or in the case of carbon fibre, simply isn't possible to do at home as it comes like that out of the factory. So to work with these materials, you're going to need a high and low grit sandpaper, a deburring tool. For metal tubing, you're going to need a pipe cutter of sorts. And for carbon fibre, you're going to want to use a coping saw. Starting off with brass tubing, we have chromed brass and black chromed brass. There are identical in terms of use, they are just different finishes. The darker one being more akin to black nickel fittings, so if you have that as your theme, it's maybe a good idea. Once I've identified a run that I want to do, I like to use a sharp knife to score my tubing in the place that I'm going to cut it. This is a very precise way of doing it, and means that you'll never lose track of the mark, and it won't mark anything outside or inside of the tube. The next step is to place your tubing into the cutter and tighten. Now carefully rotate the tube and it will score all around it. Keep tightening and twisting and eventually it will cut all the way through. After cutting, we're gonna to have to remove all these internal burrs. We're gonna begin by sanding down the ends of the tube so that they're nice and flat, beginning on a low grade paper and working up to a higher one. After sanding, go around the inside edge with a deburring tool. Lastly, it's really important that you properly chamfer the outside edge. This is because you don't want the O-ring inside the fittings to be damaged, which is very easy to do if the metal is jagged. Again, start with a low grit and work your way up to high grit until it's nice and smooth. If you happen to have access to a belt sander, this makes this process very simple, clean and efficient. Moving on to carbon fiber, it really is just as simple as marking out and then using a coping sword to cut it. It's very important to remember that carbon fiber dust and splinters are very dangerous. So always make sure you wear a mask, safety goggles, and I prefer to wear gloves because you don't want those in your hands and you definitely don't want them in your lungs. You can use a Dremel. I would not recommend it because the dust will fly everywhere. It's incredibly dangerous. You don't want that flying around uh, and breathing it in. As with the brass, the final step is just to sand the edges and give it a little bit of a bevel so that it doesn't harm the fittings. It's important to do a wet sanding with carbon so you don't get the dust everywhere and you get a nice clean finish. And that's it, you've now got tubes ready to insert into your fittings and complete your water loop. 